prerequisite and be good at programming. Uh, fokus dulu aja mau belajarnya. Then you fake and then you ask and then I answer. Boleh disebutin dulu namanya siapa dan cerita sedikit tentang diri kalian. Okay, uh, I'm Samuel. I work at Algorithma as a cross producer and I'm a trainer. Karena aku Tiara sebagai lead academic instructor di Algorithma. Okay. Okay. Right, so who draws first? Um, do you know Sweet Sam? Yeah. Oh. Um, Rock paper scissors. Oh my god, my brother. <laughs> so. So, yeah. okay. so you go yeah. first. Oh, I, I I go first. Okay. <laughs> if we want to upgrade computer, which component make more impact to build machine learning? A CPU, a GPU, a RAM, or an SSD? What is your recommendation minimum specification for machine learning? You, 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 you ask and you answer. <laughs> and that's not how it works! I thought I'm asking and then you answer, and then you pick and then you ask and then I answer. <laughs> you said I should pick. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> Okay, please say, please say a quick mouth. Okay. Any recommended website to learn R? <laughs> learn R? Yeah. Sure, you can go to algotech.mentiflag.com Or go to github.com okay. And you can yeah, sure. find the page link yeah. to Or go to his github somewhere only, only phantom.github.com There's a lot of... All our website there is also like a, there's a lot of blog content we put out there but if you want more technical content, uh, go to our GitHub. Go to Team Algorithma on GitHub and you will find our technical blog on it. And we will post more regularly. Okay. okay. <laughs> There's what is the prerequisites of becoming a data scientist? What oh, is such an easy question. <laughs> what are the prerequisites? Um, well, I think mathematics, algebra. Um, if you do, if you go into a little bit of neural network, uh, then maybe calculus, understand what partial derivative is, understand how optimization algorithms work. Um, prerequisite and be good at programming. I think it's kind of hard to be good at anything without being good at programming. If you want to be a data scientist, then I think that's one of the pick up a skill, um, learn programming, learn R Python, learn one of the more industrial packages. So that uh, that that would be my take on that. Uh, do you have a Python script to change JSON to CSV? Uh, yeah, this one is easy. Pandas, PD, and then you put PD dot to CSV, to JSON, to, to data frame, like there's a lot of formats. So if you want a simple way to change JSON to CSV, then you consume the JSON and change that to CSV, provided that it's, uh, it, it meets the required uh, schema. Okay. Why Madu? MATLAB is not an option for a data scientist. I think MATLAB and R share similarity. Do you want to answer that question? I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> well, I think Mat if, you, if you're planning to learn programming, learn data science, yeah, you can do that. But if you want to do any kind of work that is industrial, you want to be employable, then you need to do what your employer needs you to do. And uh, you need to work with other people using technologies that everyone on the team is familiar with. And most likely, that would be R Python. So I think it's from an employment perspective, um, you have a much greater chance learning R or Python compared to MATLAB. Uh, if you're doing research, feel free to use MATLAB if you want to. I don't know about R and Python. Is it too late for me to start a career as a data scientist? Okay, first of all, ini umur berapa sih juga nggak tahu ya. We don't know. <laughs> Are you 45? Are you 70? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, sebenarnya kalau ngomongin tentang data scientist sendiri, mungkin at least di Indonesia sendiri, uh, industrinya sendiri juga masih baru gitu, banyak banyak banget yang emang switch karirnya juga nggak lulus kuliah aku tiba-tiba jadi data scientist juga nggak banyak karena dia juga job yang baru muncul, jadi ya why not? Yeah, unless you're 75, if that if that's the case. <laughs> Pick a different hobby, learn how to draw maybe if you're 75, <laughs> but if you're below 75, I think it's a pretty good time to start. Okay, if you have a date data, how do you display the days in a proper sequence? For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. Um, 
depending on what language you use. If you use pandas, there is categorical. There's the categorical data type. So you type dot d types, and then you see the type if it's a categorical. Um, and then you use the dot dt. So you say dot dt column dot dt, and then you have the weekday names, right? So you have weekday name, and they also have weekdays. So it's very sorted out in pandas. All you need to do is to sort and ascending by descending. You can do that. If you do r, you do the factor, and then you pass in a levels argument, and you put in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you in a country where uh, the beginning of the week starts on Sunday, then you put in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so that's kind of how we do it. Uh, what programming language should a beginner learn? What programming language should be a beginner learn? In terms, kalau misalkan maksudnya beginner adalah benar-benar orang yang belum pernah nyobain programming language sama sekali, um, me personally mungkin uh, fokus dulu aja mau belajarnya, mau belajar programming dulu atau mau belajar uh, statistiknya dulu. Kalau misalkan mau belajar statistiknya dulu, uh, go with R. Kalau misalkan mau belajar uh, tentang programmingnya, go with Python. Next. That's it. Udah. 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 Udah.